Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Monday Morning Podcast for Monday, May 7th, 2018. What's going on? How is ya? How's it going? How are you? Is your hockey team still alive in the NHL playoffs? Well, you know what? Congratulations. I hope you're happy. Because mine isn't. Mine is not. Mine is done for the goddamn season. I do want to... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Hit the printer while I'm doing the podcast. No fucking consideration for the high level of quality of a program that's going on in here. Sorry. Why would you do that? Sorry. You come in here and you apologize to the incredible intellect of my listeners. I, yeah, I just, yeah, I hit print, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God, Mia. Can we sit down and talk about how you cut up that steak last night? Nope. Oh, where are you running? Where are you running to? We already settled it. Why do we need to talk about Listen to this. Now? You want to talk about one of one of the oh shadiest God. moods ever. Moves ever. Come here, sit down. Sit down, gorgeous. Baby. We'll bring her in here. It'll take some of the sting out of what I'm going to say to you. So anyway, so we go out, you know. A friend of ours was in town, and of course she wanted to meet our lovely, beautiful, absolutely charming, always in a great mood, gorgeous daughter, right? And we love showing her off. We love getting the compliments. Oh, my God. I know, right? I did that. You know, I didn't. I took a half-court shot, and God did the rest. Um, the Lord! Um, anyways, so we end up going out to a steakhouse, right? So Nina's like, I don't want a steak, but I'd like some steak. Are you going to order a steak? And it's like, yes. When in Rome? Hi. Hi. Did you just say hi to me? You say hi to the listeners, cutie. So Nia's just like, are you going to get a steak? I don't want steak. I didn't want a whole steak. I wanted to get tuna tartare, and I wanted a crab, the lump crab cake. Which is what you ordered. Yes, and I wanted a little bit of steak because I want to do a little surf and turf. So what does old Freckles do? (laughs) What does old Freckles do? He he orders, of course. What do you order? Billy Steak Face. Oh, Billy Steak Face. I ordered the bone-in ribeye. How the hell did that happen? Sorry. What just happened there? Somehow I moved and the volume got turned down. Anyways, I'll have to edit that part out. So anyways, old Billy Steak Face, I order a bone-in ribeye. So Cutie Pie here starts getting frustrated. Starts making noise. And I I don't want to be that guy at the restaurant with the baby that's crying, especially in a steakhouse. A steakhouse, you have a lot of people there in their second marriages. (laughs) People who, you know, didn't get married. Guys who are paying for a house that they're no longer allowed to go into. You know, there's a lot of that going there. You know, a lot of child support being paid. You know, by some of these people who had to rebuild it again. So like, look at your belly hanging out. Look at your belly hanging out. What are you doing? <laughs> so she was, my daughter was getting frustrated. So I just started, I started, you know, walking her around the restaurant and everything like that. Being the amazing father that I am, right? Yeah. Running around. She's so short. I got to like, you know, bend at that angle that it's like killing my back. But I, but I stuck it out. I did it for you. I did it for all those divorcees in there, right? All those people paying child support. Even the women there. Women are starting to pay child support, too. Oh, my God. You haven't seen that? You haven't read that in Cosmo? Cosmo, Bill? Cosmo, yeah. Cosmo. Yeah. Just finish the story, Bill. And they are, they're, they're complaining now, which I love. I love this whole equal pay, because you wait, Nia. You wait till enough women have to start paying child support, and you watch those divorce laws change like that. Um, so, anyways, while I'm... Being the amazing father that that I am, obviously this is my uh, this is my version of the story. Uh, my steak arrives, so Nia goes to cut off her portion of the steak, and basically what she does is she cuts the thing like lengthwise, right along, like an inch away from the bone, and she takes all the meat along the bone and then gives me the rest of it. And for those of you who aren't meat eaters, all you vegetarians out there, the most flavorful part of a bone in ribeye the reason is, is all along the bone. And she took the best meat. And I was so upset with her. I told her that she needed to go to Ancestry.com because that was some northern white European shit. What you just did there. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah, I, I took the, uh, yeah, I, I did. That's my favorite part, is the bone. I, okay. bone. <laughs> All right, guys, if you ever want to know, okay. if you want to know what it's like 
to be a husband and a father. That's what it is. Oh, come on. She makes the baby. She goes through all of that. She goes through nine months of hell. Ten. Ten months of hell. Actually, there's the middle three that's like the summer vacation, but whatever. We'll say 10 months of hell. And you know what? And then as a guy, you pay for it for the rest of the relationship. She gets it all back with little little shady cuts of bone and ribeye. I couldn't believe that. Hi. Hi, cutie. Look at the way she's smiling at you. Huh? She is in love with you. Yeah. Well, you know what? And I'll be in love with her until the day she takes the the good part of my Cheerios. <laughs> All right. Hi. Hi. <laughs> how are you, cutie? All right. Daddy has to talk filthy so I can still buy you diapers. That's how it works. I'm sorry. I'm too far down this road to pretend that you have a respectable dad. All right, lovely ladies. That's it? Well, I mean, I thought that you were going to try to defend your position and you didn't. You're like, yeah, I did. That's that's what I did. I mean, that's this, that's... That's really all there is to say. I did. I saw that, and I was like, I want the meat along the bone. You're doing Donald Trump right now. What does that mean? That's how he got out of stuff. Just... You said all this horrible stuff about women, and he was like, no, nah, I said that about Rosie O'Donnell. And they were like, no, you said that about other women. He was like, hey, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right. I thought that was going to be a big funny fight, and it, it was nothing. Ow, you're on my ankle. Be careful, honey. Okay, all right. We're going bye-bye? Ladies. Bye bye. Can you say bye bye? Bye bye. Bye. Oh, come on. All right. Oh well. Bye. Yeah, I'll see you later. I'll buy you a cheeseburger later. Oh, okay. <laughs> you get my steak and I get a cheeseburger later. Let me guess, McDonald's. What do you guys want? What do you like better? You like McDonald's or Burger King? I've always, I've always been a McDonald's guy. I've always been McDonald's. And I'm not, it's not like I'm out here looking for another advertiser. I'll tell you right now, I feel the best poison in fast food is McDonald's. This is how I would, I would rank. This is how I rank my fast food cheeseburgers, Nia. Ooh, I like All right? Okay, as much as there's some great ones out there like In-N-Out, I have to go to McDonald's because the child sense memory. Okay. You know, that just takes me back. To, you know, when my bicycle was orange, just like my hair that I used to have. <laughs> and I had the white tape around the handlebars. I huh? I'll tell you what happened. I went to, the, um, to see my trainer. And when I got in there. Oh, yeah. Did you take the best mat in the gym? Yes. And he was finishing up with another client. And she had her daughter there who's like four years old. And she's so cute. So I said, like, oh, you want to see pictures of my baby? And so I was showing her pictures of the baby. And then she saw a picture of you with the baby, and she goes, who's that? And I said, oh, that's um, her daddy. That's my husband. And she goes, oh, okay. And she goes, why doesn't he have any hair? Who said that, the kid? <laughs> the kid, the four-year-old. And I said, well, you know, sometimes when people get older, you know, their hair starts to come out. And so he just decided to cut it off because he didn't want it just to be falling out. And I think it looks better this way. And she was like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> That was it. It was so cute. <laughs> Why did I need to know that? That wasn't cute. I already feel bad enough about myself. Oh, Do you know how many kids have looked at me and said, you're ugly in my life? How many? At least six. No. I swear to God, even when I had hair. No. Yeah. Well, children didn't say you were ugly. Children. And children are honest. <gasps> I know what all you adults are doing. You're just being nice to me. <laughs> Maybe you deserve that bone and ribeye and just give me the shit part. Hey, uh, you ugly piece of shit. Oh, Get out of here. No, I didn't mean it like that. Um, yeah, cute story, Nia. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I'll leave. Yeah. Hey, Nia, I met this girl the other day and she, I showed her a picture of you and she was like, hey, why is her butt so big? And I was like, well, you know, <laughs> your butt isn't big, all right? But now I'm going to fucking pay for I think you're going to laugh at that and I'm going to pay for that comment forever. Yeah. Right? You can just you can just eviscerate me. First of all, I didn't say anything. It was the child that said it. So I don't know why you're making up some scenario where someone's insulting like my looks. That's not a child. And for the record, my ass might be big, but it's like perfect. So it is. It's why I married you. It certainly wasn't. It certainly wasn't the other end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That other end, I have no problem with. It's, the, it's your fucking yap that drives me up the wall. All right, whatever. Why, why, why do I try to make a point? Why do I try to get ahead? You know what I mean? It's just like, Bill, you're losing, okay? You're at a casino, and the house always wins. And the house is your fucking wife, so just 
fucking cash in your chips and go back to the goddamn room. Anyways, let's get back to the NHL. Let's.